get it checked now on our local forecast. Another nice day, but so hot. Yeah. It <laughs> really is, and it feels so sticky mm. out there right now. The humidity is high, and we're going to continue with this pattern the next few days. So, yeah, just going to have to deal with it and make sure that you have plenty of water with you, drinking plenty of fluids throughout the day because the heat is on, and the broad camera showing us plenty of sunshine, too. Just a few clouds as we look from our QS camera. Beautiful view there, and the radar and satellite is quiet. It's on days like this that we almost wish for a little bit of rain to bring us some relief, but at least we have this breeze out of the east. That ocean breeze making it feel a little bit more bearable right now, 15 to 17 miles an hour. Right now, 83 in Fort Lauderdale, Miami, 84 in Southwest Ranches and Kendall. We're seeing 86 in Marathon. Now, when you factor in the humidity, it feels like 90 in Marathon. It feels like 88 in Fort Lauderdale. feels like 86 in Miami. So we are the hot spot. 83 in Miami, and it's about 90 degrees colder than in Bismarck, where it's currently seven below there, only seven in Minneapolis, teens, 20s. Yeah, old man winter still hanging on across the northern tier of the country, and that cold air is even down into parts of Texas and the deep south, and we're seeing 40s and 50s on the west coast. But the big story is a storm system. We're seeing not only the wet weather, but the wintry precipitation, major winter storm that is going to continue to slide up towards the northeast as we head throughout the day today. Now for us, though, we're going to be stuck with the warmth and the stickiness and highs in the low to mid 80s, a breeze out of the east southeast leading to a moderate risk of rip currents and a very high UV index. And uh, for boaters right now, no advisories, sees three to five, a moderate chop on the bays. Tonight, low 70s, and we could see a few showers late tonight, overnight, and into tomorrow morning. Patchy inland fog also a possibility as the moisture levels are really high. So high pressure is going to act like a roadblock and not allow any of the front to make their way across our area. So the jet stream and the stormy pattern is going to stay well toward north and west. And we're going to continue with the warmth and the humidity. And for your Wednesday and Thursday, there could be a few passing showers with the rain chance still relatively low at about 20%, but above average temperatures with highs in the low to mid 80s through Friday, upper 80s this weekend.